Well, we're entering a new year, which means people are going to be hitting the gym. I talked to the co-owner at NYSF about how people can keep that momentum up with the New Year's goals. So I think there's a bit of a myth around when people get started in the new year. Everybody seems to think that it's this huge swoosh in January, and that really isn't the case. It's more like a slow trickle. We usually don't see it until the Monday after New Year's. Co-owner of New York Sport and Fitness, Heather Mayo, says a lot of new faces hit the gym during the start of the new year, but then it starts to slow down after January. Mayo adds new gym members should remember to walk through the front door and take things slow. One of the things where we see people get burnt out is maybe they go from zero days a week at the gym to aiming for five to six, and that's just not realistic. That habit isn't established, and so ideally what we like to see is people just getting in the habit of two to three days a week. How can people ease into the routines for the new year? My number one tip is start small, smaller than you think. You don't want to overwhelm yourself. You want to be able to successfully do it because really the main thing is building that self-trust and building that self-efficacy. And that's what's going to give people the motivation to keep going. One of the main reasons why people quit the gym, they're not seeing results. Mayo says it's about how you feel, not if the numbers aren't where you want them to be on the scale. When we focus on how we want to feel in our body, it allows us to create behaviors that will help us allow us to feel that way. And it also makes the process a lot more actionable and motivational. When you're focused on how you feel, you can feel those changes almost instantly. You'll have more energy, you feel better in your skin, more confidence, you feel stronger. And those things can happen really in a matter of days.